your hands with me. Let's have a holy ghost time. Come on. The song says this. This is. This is the season of miracles. This is the season. This is the season of miracles. Press down.
Let's give God some praise in the place. Come on, would you lift your hands all over this room? Come on, let's worship him. But well, we know that he's worthy to be praised. Come on, hands lifted everywhere. Come on, every eye closed. Just worship him. Come on, bless his name in this place. Come on. Tell him I love Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come on, worship. Come on, worship. Come on, I don't hear you. Come on, open up your mouth and worship him. For he's worthy to be praised. God, we honor you in this place. We glorify you in this place. We magnify your name. God, we tell you, thank you that you didn't let nothing happen to us. Even when we were yet favored for it, God. But because of your grace and your mercy, we tell you, thank you. We tell you, thank you because you loved us when we was unlovable. We give you praise. We give you honor and we give you glory. Come on, give God a praise in this place. Come on, open up your mouth and worship him. Give him honor and glory. Tell him I love you, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Glorify your name. We glorify your name. Come on, God inhabits the praises of his people. And if you worship him, unrestrictedly then the miracle that you've been asking for God will give it to you come on help me somebody anybody can praise him but you have to be a worshiper to worship him I can praise him with my money but if I don't have no money, I still can worship him. Come on, I just need a few of y'all to come on with me. I can praise him when I got food. But when there's no food on the table, I will still worship him. We give God praise and honor for this moment. We thank God for a bishop. Come on, somebody. Get just a little volume on this. Come on, listen. I I, I don't I don't know where you are and what you've been going through, but but I, I know the trouble that the devil has been giving me back in Atlanta. And he's the same devil that's in Dover. Come on, somebody. 
But what I would ask you for this moment, just, just to lay down what you've been dealing with and allow the worship in your heart and in your spirit to just signal God for what you need of him. Come on, somebody. I wish I wish I was on vacation, but I'm strictly on assignment. We give God praise for our bishop. Let's give God praise for our bishop. Come on for Lady K, our co-pastor. To all of the ministers. Come on, somebody. To all of the staff. Thank God for each of you. Amen, somebody. He's worthy to be praised. I want you to go to 2 Corinthians chapter number 4. You find it, say Amen. So here I am to worship. Here I am. To bow down. Here I am to say, You're my God. You're all together. All together. Worthy. All together. to me so here I am to worship here I am to bow down here I am to say you're my God you're all together love all together worthy. Come on, lift those hands. Come on, let's push it. Come on, this is for somebody who needs a breakthrough. Come on, this is for somebody that needs a breakthrough. And I don't know how you're feeling, but I'm... I know, I know the emotions began to get the best of me. Come on, lift it up in this place. Come on, every voice. Come on, lift your voice in this place. Yes, God. Come on, sing it from your belly. Come on. Fall to Come on, tell them, here I am. Yes, God. Tell them here I am. Tell them you're all together. Come on. Yes, you are God. Sing it one more time, tell them here I am.
2 Corinthians chapter number 4. If it just help us. It would go to verse number 7. I wasn't going to read all of it, but I think I need to for the sake of the message. And it reads, it says, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not us. Text says, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed but not in despair. <laughs> Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body, the dying Lord of Jesus that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For which we live and are delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Amen. Says, so then death worketh in us, but life in you. We having the same spirit of faith. Somebody shout faith. According as it is written, I believe and therefore I have spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. Knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise us up also by Jesus and shall present us with you. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. You may be seated. Apostle Paul declares that we are troubled on every side. I want to know if I'm in the right church. And are you some of the people that have the same trouble that we have? But he says, we're troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. According to the apostle Paul, even though we may be troubled in times of adversity, we are not alone. Amen. That's a good place to shout. Said, for the Lord himself will take us by the hand. And I want to talk about for just a few moments when my faith is shaken. When my faith is shaken. All of us will have our moment that our faith is will be tested and tried. But we must focus on God and his infinite wisdom for our journey. Come on, help me somebody. I, I wish someone would have been able to give me a more descriptive blueprint when it comes to faith. Come on, help me. Uh, when, when, when we experience trials. Um, but nobody gave me a particular blueprint when it came to the trials of life. Have I got a witness in the room here? And, and watch this. Uh, we must remember that faith is not what we can see. But it is what we do not see in the natural. 
I need some of y'all to help me in here so I don't feel by myself. Be because watch this. Uh, it it's like walking through your valid experience. Some things just cannot be explained. You just got to go through them. Have I got anybody in the room that ever had to go through some stuff and you wish somebody would have given you some type of notice? I just need a help, some help from, from, from some of y'all to tell you that sometime God will not give you notice. He will just take you through. But can I tell y'all what's wrong with us in the church? What's wrong with us is sometimes we come to church and we sit down and we act as if we have never been through anything. Come on, help me here. See, some of us need to start giving our testimonies in our worship and letting people know that, listen, you if you only knew what God brought me through, I need some help in this room here. If you only understood what some of the things that could have taken my life, but if it had not been for God that was on my side and working, come on, help me here, through some situations that I should not even be here now. Have I got anybody testify? that you're thankful that what could have happened did not happen to you. Yeah. So we better start thanking God for what we have not received. You better start thanking God for some of the stuff he was praying for that he did not give to you because some of the stuff if he would have given it to you it would have taken you out of here. So, so some stuff just can't be explained only after you have experienced it. In the text, he explains that we're trouble on every side. Trouble will come to all of us. Wish I had some help in here. It's, it's not how trouble handles you, but it's how you handle trouble come on help me some it's, it's lady k it's not how the trial comes to you but it's how you go through the trial can 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 somebody explain to me uh who told you it was gonna be easy hey, maybe y'all don't like my country preaching who, who 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 told you you was going you was gonna be on a bed of roses all your life my mama taught me something valuable. She said, always stay connected to God. Because she said, she said, when you make your bed hard, you're going to have to lay in it. Y'all lay up with me in this room here. And so, and so watch this. Trouble, trouble doesn't have any faith when it shows up. But we have faith for the trouble when it comes your faith is what matters come on help me somebody and 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 that's why that's the only reason we're able to say that trouble don't last it's gonna come it's gonna show up at your door amen i told y'all before credit no credit uh trouble knows your credit score <laughs> trouble trouble knows trouble knows i mean i know sometimes we we try to hide it but trouble knows trouble knows uh uh what you like and what you don't like come on help me somebody trouble 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 knows what you think sometime before you ever ever really get it out because trouble wants to trouble you and trouble comes to shake your faith Look at your neighbor. I know, I know we're spaced out, but look over at your neighbor and through your mask and shout. Say, neighbor, your faith will be shaken. Let me, let me hurry on. Watch this. He says, he says, that trouble don't last always. He says, yet not distressed. We are perplexed. Sometimes things will get a little confusing come on help me somebody 
it, it amazes me because I thought that when I came into the church that some of the stuff I was dealing with would not happen. Because when I was in the street, come on, help me see. Some of y'all act like you've been in the church all your life. When I was in the street, come on, help me. It, it wasn't like this. But now that I'm in the house of God, is now when the devil comes. And 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 watch, watch, watch what happens here because, because we're not in despair. And what he's saying here, according to the apostle Paul, he says, even though we may be troubled in times of adversity, we are not alone. Not alone, for the Lord himself will take us up by his hand. Nevertheless, there are moments in life that will shake our faith. And if we're spiritually rooted and connected to God, then we know that Jesus is our help. Come on, help me somebody. He, he, he said that, he said, he says that, that I've come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. This, this is where, this is where your faith must be strong. And if it's not, when adversity come, adversity will shake you to your core. Wish I had. You ain't got to tell your business, but, but just raise your hand that if you ever had a situation in your life that you wish God would have explained it to you better. If he would have just given you some kind of notion. Come on, help me. Come on, can y'all help me? I ain't going to preach long. I got to get out of here. Can, can y'all testify and tell the truth and say that Listen, if God could have just given me some type of warning. At least it would have felt better. Watch this. Watch this. He says, he says, he says, nevertheless, there are moments in life that will shake our faith. Jesus lets us know that I've come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Let me help y'all. This is where your faith must be strong. Come on, help me. If, if, if your faith is not strong, that certain stuff that comes your way is going to look like you don't know God. Wish I had some help in here. Certain stuff that happens in your life, if your faith is not strong, it's going gonna, it's gonna to seem as you have never known who God was. Come on, help me somebody. This is where, this is where our faith got to be stronger. It's got to be stronger. Watch this. What, what then, Pastor Smith, is faith? What is faith? We know what the text says. The text says in Hebrews uh, 11 and 1, now faith is the substance things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. But watch this here. The enemy wants us confused by what we see. I don't know who this is for, but I'm trying to tell you to stop looking at what you're looking at in the same manner that the enemy wants you to look at it. Y'all ain't helping me here. What I'm trying to tell you is that some stuff, it may look like it's out of order. It may look crazy, but God still has his hand involved. Y'all ain't helping me here. And you gotta know this. You gotta know this. That sometimes there's, it, it ain't always how it looks. It ain't always how it looks because sometimes it may look a certain way, but God is actually making it happen in a different way. You just don't see it. Got to get out of here. So, so the enemy wants us confused by what we see. And that's why sometimes our faith is shaken because we don't see it in the spiritual. We're looking at it in the natural. Y'all ain't helping me here. There's some stuff you can only look at spiritual and understand it spiritually. But when you look at it in a carnal sense, you will be confused.
So, so sometimes what we see in the natural will shake our faith if we're not careful. The definition of shaking uh, means to make someone doubt, watch this, something that they are certain of. I'm certain that God is a healer. But when my faith is shaken, I'm somewhat at a, a, a despairing place because I'm looking at the circumstance. Tell your neighbors that you got to stand on the word. I don't care what it looks like. Come on, help me. I don't, I don't care what it looks like. You got to stand on the word. And when you stand on the word, I don't care what nobody else is saying. I wish I had some folk in here. That I, I don't care what nobody else is saying. I'm standing on the word. Come on, help me. You ever had to go to the hospital? I, I know what the doctor is saying. But I know what the word says. Let me say that again. I know what the doctor is saying. But I know what the word says. Y'all better talk to me in here. Listen here, because the doctor is practicing medicine. But I'm connected to the specialist. Y'all ain't helping me here if I was down in the country. I tell you how Jesus specializes in things that seem impossible to me. Y'all ain't helping me here. And I'm just trying to help and tell you that you gotta know what the word says. 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 Trying to, you're trying to make me doubt God. But I know what the word says about God. And 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 watch this here because, because truly, 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 nothing should shake your confidence in God. Even sometimes this happens, but because we know the word, come on, help me somebody. You, you, because we know the word you gotta pull it back together come on help me listen because some of y'all are thinking so far out there you got to pull yourself back in I got to get out of here you, you got to pull yourself back in because because watch this here that, that's what that's what we must stand on the word when the trials of our faith present themselves because we know God we are truly aware of his supernatural ability. And sometimes we ask God for a miracle when he said, I let you be with the miracle. Y'all missed that. You'll catch that on your way home. You see, some, sometimes you got to know that God just want to know where your faith is. He knows his power. He knows his ability. He just want to know, do you believe he can do it? So I got to go. I got to go because y'all looking at me funny. Y'all looking at me funny. So why is he up there sweating and hollering? Let me preach to myself then. Because I know the hell I've been going through. Y'all ain't talking to me. I don't have to ask nobody, is God real? I know for myself, he's real. Come on. I don't have to check with nobody else because I know for myself. I wish I had some more people. I know what he's brought me through. I know what he saved me from. I know who he is. When my faith is shaken, trouble on every side. I'm perplexed. Some of this stuff confuses me. He says, I'm not in distress. He said, I didn't leave you stranded. You're not in despair. You remember David when David said, I cried unto the Lord and he heard my cry. Some of us crying to the wrong people. 
Y'all don't like this kind of preaching. Some of us crying to people that can't help us. Some of us crying to people that cry more than you. No, I need somebody that understands what I'm going through. And so, and so I got two things to tell you, and I promise you I'm out of here. Uh, number one, number one, watch this. Number one, when your faith is shaken, y'all ready? The devil is somewhere in the details. Let me say that again. When your faith is shaken, the devil is somewhere in the details. The devil is trying to get you and I to discredit God's deity. God's deity is his supernatural being. We can't see him, but we call him God. I can't touch him, but I feel him. Y'all ain't helping me. I, I don't know where he is, but I know he exists. Come on, help me. I can't trace him, but I'm still going to trust him. Y'all ain't helping me here. I, I don't, I, matter of fact, if I was in the country, in the country, we'll say whatever you need from him, just call him up. He's on the... You, you can't call them with your iPhone. You can't call them with your Android. You ain't got enough data to reach him. Come on. Come on, help me. You can't text him in the heavens. You, you have to use, as my grandmama used to say, the telephone that's in your bosom. So, so the devil... When your faith is shaken, the devil is somewhere in the details. He's trying to get you to discredit God's supernatural existence. That's why our faith is so important. Watch this. Our faith is not in what we can see. But our faith is in what we can't see. I can't see my healing with my natural eye until I see it with my spiritual. Come on. And, and so, and so, it, watch this. Our faith is not in what we can see, it's in what we cannot see. And, and watch this here. Uh, the devil, watch this. The, don't allow the devil to cause you to doubt God. Too many times we allow the enemy to cause us to doubt God. Because we prayed and we thought by the time we finished praying, God was going to answer. Well, he don't work on your time. Come on, help me. See, 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 y'all ain't helping me here. See, 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 your time, your time, the time you have is chronos. Your time has to be dealt with in a chronological order. But God's time is Kairos. And when God moves in the Kairos, he will always uh, interrupt your chronos. That's why you can't tell God what you're going to do. You've got to wait till God tell you what to do. Come on, help me here. And when the Kairos of time is implemented, God, he cancels your schedule because he's going to make you do his will. So, don't, 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 don't let the devil cause you to doubt God. Come on, don't, don't let the devil cause you to doubt his power. Uh, you remember the three Hebrew boys? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Y'all remember them boys? And when the king told them he was going to throw them into the fiery furnace after he turned it up seven times hotter than it normally is. Come on, help. You got to have this kind of faith. The three Hebrew boys talked to him. I don't know which one led it off, but he said to them, and they said to the king, they said, well, king, you know what? They, they didn't say if, but they said when. Because we're not going to bow until your golden image. Come on, help me. It's about 
somebody and they said when you put us in the fire here's the kind of faith you gotta have because when your faith is shaken you gotta know what the word says these three Hebrew boys well, were saying unto the king that even when you put us in if he doesn't deliver us it's not because he could not That's the kind of faith we have to possess. So, so, you know, watch this. Watch this. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that was a shaken moment for them. And however they kept their faith in God. Tell your neighbors and neighbor, when your faith is shaken, check the details. Because the devil is somewhere in the details. Well, well, why do you say that, Pastor Smith? I'm just trying to help y'all. The reason I tell you is that because the enemy's attempt, come on, is his plan is to attempt to stop God's plan. Come on, help me here. He's trying. He, he, he's not trying to stop you from having what you want. He's trying to kill you. Come on, that's what the Bible says. That the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Why some of us continue to play with the devil? He's not our friend. But we like him. We, for some reason, we like hanging out with him at 2 o'clock on a Saturday night. And they'd be mad because they was looking for you at church. Amen, somebody. But the enemy's attempt is to stop God's plan for your life. He says, we are trouble on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. According to Pastor Paul, he says, even though we, we may be troubled, have I got any troubled people out there now that need God to do something special for you? We are troubled on every side. What's this? But when adversity comes, we are not alone. For the Lord himself, amen, will take us by the hand. And so when your faith is shaken, the devil is somewhere in the details. Y'all ain't gonna help me preach in here. And so, and so number two, number two, number two, number one, I told you that when your faith is shaken, the devil is somewhere in the details. The devil is trying to get you to discredit God. Can y'all help me ride out of here, fellas? He, he's trying to get you to, 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 to believe that God cannot do what he said he was going to do in your life. Come on, help me. But you know that God, everything God tells us is true. Come on, help me hear his promises are real and you don't have to worry about what nobody else says come on get up on your feet I'm out of here you got to make sure that when my faith is shaken the devil is somewhere in the details watch this here but number two in spite of it all somebody shout God is still in control come on help me here I don't care how bad it looks I don't care how bad it may feel is still in control. Come on, somebody shout control. That whatever you're going through, whatever problem you're having, he's still in control. And I don't care how it looks. I don't care what nobody else says. God 
is still in control. Come on, help me here. We all have to go through trials. We have to go through a test. Come on, help somebody and let your neighbor know that, listen, you and I one day will have to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. But tell them fear. Be no, don't, don't fear no evil. For God, God is with you. That whatever you're going through, whatever problem you're having, he's right there to take you through. Come on, listen here. Is it anybody in here by the showing of your hand that have trusted God? And has he ever let you down? Come on, help somebody. If he's never let you down, why don't you just shout to your neighbor and say, neighbor, he's God and he's still good. Why? Because he's still watching over my soul. And when the devil thought he had me, when the enemy came in like a flood, God lifted up a standard. Come on, help somebody in the room here. I don't know who I'm talking to, but when your faith is shaking, all you gotta do is trust him and believe and lean not to your own understanding but lean on God and he will see you through every time I need some of y'all to just shout and tell God thank you come on shout in here and tell him thank you Come on, some of y'all ain't saying nothing yet. Come on, open up your mouth and tell God, thank you. Because if it had not been for him. Come on, you gotta help me here. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, only if you knew what I had to go through. Tell him, only if you knew what I've been going through. Only if you knew what I've had to endure. Come on, you got to celebrate God for that. You got to celebrate him for the life that he's protected you from. Come on, help somebody. You gotta thank him for what he's done for you. Come on, help me. Can't nobody do me like Jesus can. Can't nobody love me like he can. Can't nobody save me like he can. Nobody help me like he can. Come on. Come on, you better celebrate him now. Because if it had not been for the Lord that was on my side. Tell them I don't know. Some of y'all ain't said nothing yet. Come on, shout to somebody and tell them if it had not been. many times he saved me so many times he loved me when I was unlovable so many times he brought me through my adversity when my faith is shaken don't let nobody fool you don't let nobody, I don't care how much money they got. I don't care how cute they think they are. Come on, help me here. I don't care what number of weed they wear. I don't care. Listen, sometimes your faith will be shaken. Thank you. That's when I have to trust him. Come on. There's a deliverance moment even here now. Watch this. This is what he said in John 16 and 33. He said, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have 
He said, but take heart. I have overcome the world. It's not the fact whether trouble will show up. It's when. was killing you. If it had not been for him, we wouldn't be here right now. And I'm saying to you, I'm saying, I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you now that you gotta trust him enough. And you gotta learn to put your faith to him and let him handle your life. Come on. We got to put everything we need God to do back in his hand. Smith, my, my faith has been shaken. Sometimes I don't know what to do. There's some of you in here now and you haven't been able to get to the altar like you needed to. And if there's some of you in here now I would ask you if we'd even still being spaced out, but I think this is a good moment. If you needed to run to this altar, you can run here. If you needed something from God and the deliverance that you need, I need you to run up here now and come to it. If you need a church, you need a church home. And even those who are watching, whatever you need from God, he's able to do it for you now. Come on, make your way up here real quickly. I know some of you, I know some of you are going through some stuff. I know some of you can say, God, I don't know what to do no more. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to feel. I don't know what to do no more, God. I'm submitting to your will right now. God, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to say. But God, I'm submitting to your will. Listen, there's some more of you. You better run up here while you got the opportunity.
Come on, this is your moment of deliverance. This is your breakthrough moment. Come on, your family is riding on this. Your children is riding on this. If you move, God will deliver your husband. If you move, he'll deliver your wife. If you move, he'll deliver your children. Come on and make your way run up here. Run up here before we close out this prayer. My light in darkness. That is who he is. And he's still making these ways now. Some of you, some of you got tears hanging off your eyes right now. Submit to his will. Submit to his way. Come on, lift those hands high. And I want to hear you pray unto God. I want to hear you telling God what you need from him. I want to hear you telling God what he needs to do for you. Come on, make your request known unto him. Come on, make it known to him. If you need deliverance, if you need healing, oh, make it known. Here. Make it known to him. Come on. Come on. Let's lift up our bishop. Come on. Let's lift up our bishop in this moment. Come on. Let's lift him up and let's lift up Lady K in this moment. Let's lift up Frontline in this moment. I need your prayer. Come on, come on. There's some more of you. Listen, there's a few more of you. I need you to run from this altar now. Come on, run up here real quickly. Run up here real quickly. Those of you who need a touch from God, run up here real quickly. Come on. Some of you been waiting on this moment. You've been saying, God, I need an encounter with you. God, I need a touch from you. I need you to run to this altar now. I need you to get up here. And you don't know if this is going to be your last time. Run here. of you. There's some more of you. Listen, there's some of you in here got sicknesses. I need you to come to the altar. There's some of you got sicknesses. There's some of you got ailments. I need you to come to the altar while the spirit is moving. Come on, there's some of you got ailments. You got high blood pressure. I need you to get to this altar in this moment. Some of you got sick children. I need you to come. 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 There's some more people on this side. There's some more people over there. Come on. Come on. Don't let the devil take your moment. 
Don't let him take your moment. He wants you to focus on your problem and rather but you gotta focus on your purpose. He wants you to get caught up in the deliver but you've got to say God I'm worried about your deliverance. said I'm working in you I'm working in you when the enemy is trying to give you some understanding of something negative God said no I'm working in you the healing you need he said I'm working in you would you lift your hands and receive it today he said I'm working in you working in you. Don't be afraid to encounter God. And don't be afraid to tell him what you need from him. He knows. I don't care what the doctor says. He knows. who are praying open up your mouth and speak to God God said that if you speak to me I will walk in this building I will do what you are needing to be done if you open up your mouth come on and if you don't need him to do anything for you open your mouth for somebody else and say God I don't need anything from you but whoever needs it from you I petition you
father us God when we don't even know what we need cover us it is your will to be done not our will God but let your will Give us a faith like no other, no, no other God. Give us faith that we've never possessed. Give us faith, God, that we don't even, we may not even understand the level of it. But give us a faith, God, to accept and receive your handiwork. our hearts, these our minds, even in this difficult moment, we don't know what to think, we think on you God, we trust you, we put our faith in you, we put our faith in you God. When we don't have words, we put it all in you. Come on. Come on, can we celebrate God and push that song? Come on, can we celebrate God? Those who have been watching this broadcast, come on, you can join this church. Amen. We thank God for your presence online. Come on. Come on. Let's celebrate God in this place. Come on. Celebrate him for your healing. Come on. Celebrate him for your deliverance. Come on. Celebrate him for the power that's been displayed in this room. Come on. Celebrate him for what he's done. Come on. Celebrate him for the move. Celebrate him. Has there ever been a time The Lord has let you down And you feel You feel he's forgotten you But may I encourage you Oh God the Lord is never late, but he's always, always, always on time. So until then, just put it in the hands, in the hands of Jesus. Cast all your cares on him. He cares for you. So why don't you try Jesus? My God. There's nothing too hard for God. Oh my God. In the hands of Jesus. And I come to tell you, he'll work it. Yes, he will. Just, in just in time. Yeah. Now come on, say this. Just in time. Just in time. My God. God's going to work it out. And I know he's going to do it. Just in time. 
when you want him. But I'm a living witness. Gotta show up. Gotta show up. He'll work it out, yes. He'll work it out. <laughs> Cast all your cares on the Lord, yes. He'll work it out. <laughs> There is nothing too hard for God, oh God. Yes, he will. Said I know he will. 